Hi everyone, it's Jessica and this video is going to be my May monthly spread and for this month I am using a kit by Frank Hearts U which I absolutely love her monthly kits. Um, so these are the four pages that come with the kit and I do have actually two trips planned this month so it's going to be a little bit busier than my usual plan with me's in my monthly which mostly just consists of my work schedule but I do actually have two trips planned. One is out to San Francisco to go to my little brother's graduation. So I am excited for that. I think I went, when did I last go? I went when he, like maybe two years ago, um, to help him move and to help like take him to his like internship. So we took a little trip out to San Francisco and then we actually took a road trip up to Seattle. So that was really nice because we just drove along the scenic highway. Like they're known for just having really gorgeous beaches along the way and you drive through some really gorgeous um, forests. So that was really fun, but it's been a little while since I've been. I think the last time I went was like two years ago maybe. So I am really excited to go back and see him graduate. Of course, that is always exciting too because I know he's worked hard for it. So yeah, that'll be the first trip. And then the second trip is going to... Where is this going? Okay. And then the second trip is actually going to Peru. I'm going to go to Machu Picchu with some of my friends. So also really, really excited for that. And it is kind of rare for me to be taking these kind of trips because my job requires me to be present. I mean, you kind of have to show up to work to be a pharmacist. So yeah, definitely excited. And then I think this last full box goes up here. I hope I'm doing the sidebar right because I vaguely remember Wendy. Um, I think I watched her apply with me on this video when she talked about some of the changes. But I remember her saying something about um, changing up the format of the sidebar. But I, I'm hoping this is still right. Probably should have started at the top actually because for some reason I have a sliver of space up there. Let me see if I can like minimize that space. I think that looks fine. And I'm trying to decide what I want to mark first because I actually don't have my entire work schedule for May. I think I only have the first few weeks and I actually don't even have it all handy. Um, actually, I think I kind of know off the top of my head. So let's do, I guess I'll start off by doing my work schedule and then I'll see about marking down the vacation. I think this time since I am going to be gone for a lot of the month I'm actually going to because normally I like to color block vertically but I think this time I will have enough labels that I can color block horizontally so let's do that for a change. I do like to put my work schedule just at the bottom of each day and just to explain a little bit um, this is my kind of main planner so this is the one that I use for my weekly plan with me's and in this one I like the monthly view and the notes page I basically just like the entire planner to be very functional actually I don't think I like that I don't think yeah I don't like having to color block the entire week because then it just looks like one long strip so let's actually just do different days I was saying I do like this planner to remain very functional so that's why for the most part I like to do just my bills and my work schedule in this monthly view and that way the boxes don't get too cluttered but in this case and then I've slowly started adding in birthdays when I remember them I don't always do a great job of remembering though but in this case I let me put down Cinco well I don't think I'll forget Cinco de Mayo but in this case, since I have the trips planned, I kind of want, I feel like that is still a very functional thing to mark is when I'm going to be gone. And then I do memory keeping in the other planner. So I have a deluxe monthly planner that I will do memory keeping in. So that will be more where 
I include like some little photos in some of these spaces and kind of stickers to mark certain moments or dinners and that sort of thing. So like any sort of event I will do more in the memory planner whereas this one is more for just like the day-to-day -day, like work, appointments I've started marking in this one actually just to help me remember and then trips when I do take them. That's all I know of work so far. Our schedule has only come out to this week and then there's two more weeks that I'm not exactly sure about but I am gone for most of those weeks so I don't really think I need to worry too much about that. So then let me mark down my vacations to kind of try to space it and then after that I'll start doing the bills. Okay, so my camera overheated and shut off sometime when I was still putting down the strips, but actually I wasn't loving how the skinny strips looked. So instead, I remembered that I have this gorgeous washi from Simply Gilded. It has all these constellations and this really gorgeous like holographic foiling, and I thought that this would be perfect for this kit. So I am going to go ahead and use this washi instead. This way I can kind of take up more space in the day because I don't really plan on marking anything else in these days. So it would be nice to have something a little bit more decorative and I don't really need these strips to be super skinny. So this I think works out perfectly and hopefully it looks good too. Okay, I think that looks a lot better and hopefully you can kind of see some of that foil. I do want to um, use some page flags to mark the beginning and ends of the trip, kind of to bookend them, but I actually don't have any silver Clever Gal Crafts page flags. All the ones I have are in gold. I do know she is opening today. Hopefully she hasn't opened yet because I def actually she's always on limited stock. Never mind. Uh, sticker problems is when you have a moment of panic that things are going to sell out. But yeah, I definitely definitely do need to pick up some silver ones. So I'm going to go ahead and order some of those for today. But that's what I plan on doing for those um, ends. And then I'll probably just write in where I'm going. Or I probably won't write in my flights in this planner. So that is the majority of my plans that I know of so far. I have a few birthdays, but I don't really have them handy, and I don't know um, if I'm going to have room to mark them. I probably will. Yeah, I'll have room to mark birthdays. Of course I do. So let's see. I'm going to do the little date dots, and then I will do my bills. So I'm just going to do the date dots and be right back. down some of these holiday flags as I go. Um, let's see. Cinco de Mayo is going to be just a little bit different, I think, because I work, so I don't want to put it down at the bottom, but I do want to use it since I've got it. And then Memorial Day and Mother's Day I can put at the bottom. And then I forget which day Teacher Appreciation Day is actually because I covered it up fairly early on so I am gonna have to go back and look that up and then I'm pretty sure I'm working on teacher appreciation day I really don't remember which date it is I think it's one of these so I'll have to look that up um, when I have time I know my camera is kind of about to run out of battery so I am just gonna move on um, anyway I what was I doing let's do bills so I was in the middle of doing some bills here and I am just going to stack it right on top. And then Monday, I know for sure I've got a bill due. What, let's see. I've got the two. So my three credit card bills I've got down. So then let's do rent on Monday. And let's see. I have a bill due. And then, then I have a dentist appointment on Monday. And then I think Monday is also payday. So let me try and figure out how I want to mark all of that. Let's do the bill at the same level where I've been doing all the other bills. So I just put the bill pretty much right on top of where I have my work labels. And then 
We'll stack the appointment label on top of that and I don't think that really leaves me much room for a payday so I might use a little payday flag. I think these are small enough that I can get away with it. Yeah. Or I'll just use another little flag and maybe do um, a little money icon. I'm going to save that for later. And then what else do I have? I have another bill due on the 29th. And I think that's really about all I mark. I do have other bills, but since they're on auto pay, I don't always mark everything. So let's see. I have rent, my three credit cards, and then, yeah. So I'll just mark one other bill on the 29th. Actually, I might actually mark it on the 30th just because I don't want to put it up in up here so I'm just gonna do it on the 30th and I will just have to make sure to pay that beforehand There's that. and then I do have electricity bill but again that is something that I already have on auto pay so I don't feel the need to mark it I guess I could if I really wanted to so let's see what else I want to do here it is starting to look a little bit cluttered. Like this is a little bit more cluttered than I normally like to see my monthly view. Um, I do wanna mark my brother's graduation cause that's a pretty big moment. And I don't really have a great icon for that. So let's see, we'll use maybe one of these or should we use the bigger one? I think we should use the bigger one. And then I do have two birthdays that I know off the top of my head, but I feel like I have a bunch of birthdays in May. So I'll actually use this big one to mark his graduation. And then the two May birthdays, let's see. There's one on the 8th and then, shoot, I think there is one on the 29th. I'll have to double check that. I know for sure I have a birthday on the 8th though, so I'll go ahead and mark that for now. So here is what the spread looks like so far. It is looking a little bit cluttered and I feel like I don't have exactly the right icons for what I want. Like I don't, there's not really a great icon to be able to mark graduation. Probably use the apple but I think I might just dig through my stash and try to find a better one and then for birthdays I might just do something simple like a little heart but I kind of want to do a foiled heart instead so I am gonna dig through my stash and I am going to continue this um, once I find the right stickers all right so I did take a little hiatus from filming just while I figured out what I actually wanted to do for some of these um, events since I typically don't mark events in this planner um, and I decided I am just gonna go ahead and place an order with Clever Gal Crafts now that she's open and I will just sprinkle in some of those stickers later on when I get them so and it's mainly just for my trips that I need those stickers um, I don't think this is really going to work out super well so the plan was to add a little bit of space in between these label stickers so it's not just like a block but as you can see these stickers are quite delicate and they are ripping up the paper but I think there's only a few I need to do that to basically just this box this box and this box so I am just going to power through it not ideal and it does look a little rough up close and while I'm on this side of the page I am going to go ahead and add in oh, I think I have to shift this box too just to make it even Not ideal. I definitely kind of butchered the paper just a little bit, but that's fine. I think it looks a little bit better that way. So the other thing I wanted to mark was my little brother's graduation, which I'm pretty sure is the 17th. And I thought about using one of these boxes, but this would be really, really big. 
So instead of using this box, I think what I'm going to do is use one of, let's see, I'm going to use one of these little appointment boxes, but I am going to sandwich it between some of these glitter washi strips just to give it a little bit extra pop. No, I don't like how that looks. Okay. And I think it's mostly just because I have it going over the washi that I am not a huge fan of how that looks. I'm just going to leave it just by itself then. And then we'll just have to find a really fun icon for that. And I don't know, I think Clever Gal Crafts does have some that are more kind of like school slash to-do list related. And I think one of those would work fine for graduation. I actually don't really have any other graduation stickers because pretty much right when I started planning that was, or by my graduation, it was before I had actually started buying Etsy stickers for planning. So I didn't really buy any stickers off of Etsy for my graduation. I just got a pack of stickers from Michaels and called it good. So... Yeah, I think that'll be it for the spread. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.